remotest municipalities in Ifugao, hidden by mountain ranges, hills, and valleys, inhabited by people of two known tribes, the Upper Bahelna, the Lower Bahelna of the Ayangan tribe, inhabited the outskirts of the municipality, and the Henawa tribe, who are in, in, within the heart of the municipality. The people in Mayuyao are called Emojojo. They have varied cultures and traditions, one of which is our native dance that comes in different styles and rhythm depending on the ritual or the occasion being celebrated. With the entrance of Christianity, medical knowledge, government laws, and formal education, some of these dances have been used during festivals, weddings and other community occasions. Let me give you a brief history of the dances that we are going to perform. First, they dance to celebrate victory when they brought home a human head from their head-hunting scheme called Tunadio. This was done long time ago to avenge a community member killed by other people outside the municipality or the tribe. Rituals are performed by the pagan priests or the mumfuni before and after the Nadio. Native dancing is also done to appease the gods to ask, to ask them to bless a couple with a child in a ritual called Paha. If for some time the couple still had no children, they perform what they call the Ipat to plead to the gods to give the couple a child. Nowadays, we perform our native dancing during occasions like festivals, weddings, and socialization. The Mayuya National High School teachers, employees, and some elders will showcase three kinds of native dances in the following order. First, the Henanga dance, which compared to other dances has faster down with rhythm with a snappy and bouncing movement. Second is the Bahelna dance, particularly that of Magulon, depicting the movement of an eagle in life. And last is the that of Lower Bahelna. Now the identity is the mincing step of the ladies depicting the shyness that goes with their smooth and slow flowing dialect. Now the Trikopa is summarized in one sentence, thanking the government, the DEPF, for having this iPad program as a tool for the revival, teaching, and preservation of our cultural heritage.